this dedication out to all my family and friends. Come on, wow. Let's do it again, bad and show. I said we all must huh. go. What's up? What's up? Welcome to the Tom Mo Show with your one and only host, straight out of Washington, D.C., Southeast, Tom Mo. What's up with y'all tonight, man? How y'all doing? How was y'all day? I hope it was a good one. I hope it was nice. It was pleasant. You ain't have a whole lot of drama jumping off, and you feel good tonight. And you decided, man, that it ain't robbery to come and join me on the Tom O Show tonight. I'm glad to have you. I got some information I need to give to you all about what's going on this weekend. I want to share about what went on last weekend. But we all know on our opening segment, man, I got to give you a little piece of something that may went on that, you know, kind of caught my mind and got my attention. What was that? Well, it's a lot. It's a lot. So where I'm going to start at, I'm, I'm not even sure. I'm honest, I'm not even sure. But I, I, I just had this thing, man, about let's be responsible for what we're doing. Let's be responsible for what we're doing. Now, I gave y'all some information about two weeks ago on my show about uh, a gentleman, you know, dropped the ball, you know, attacked his mother-in-law, father-in-law, and, and the wife pulled up and he got the banging off at the wife too. But that was the, that wasn't the wife, that was the cousin, I'm sorry. I, I had the wrong information. And I use that for a scenario because sometimes, man, 
when something happens and a person get the information, by the time the information get to you, it don't be exactly what happened. It don't be the same information. You know how people like be talking about something and then they come and tell you, yeah, such and such said this and that about you and wah, wah, wah. And then when you get back to that people, it's like, nah, that wasn't said. It was said a different way. Once again, it falls in the category of being responsible for what you're doing in your own life. We cannot depend on people to deliver certain messages the right way. What I mean by that? I was told this a long time ago. If you don't want somebody to know a secret, then don't tell nobody. Huh? Don't tell nobody. Because once you tell one person, they got a person that they're going to confine in. That person going to have somebody that they're going to confine in. Then they're going to have a person that they're going to confine in. And now the message done went from she all right or he all right to, man, I can't stand them. <laughs> You follow what I'm saying? So be responsible for what you're doing out here in this world, man. The decisions that you're making and going forward in your life, man. You can't blame nobody else for what you do, what you say, what you accept in your life. I just want to give you that, man, because it's just it's so much goes on out here that when things go wrong, we try to look to blame somebody. Look who to blame, you know. And the only person I think, man, that we can blame is ourselves because if we're entrusting certain information with the wrong people or we talking to the wrong people or we involved with the wrong people, then it's going to get messed up, period. Now, that I got that out of the way, let's move on. Today, what's the day of the month, man? What is this? August... The 14th, the day August the 14th, so much done happened since then. Uh, da, 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 da. We did, a show uh, Saturday up Northwest off of Georgia Avenue Day. Well, not nah, it wasn't Georgia Avenue Day. See, I'm going to give y'all the inf wrong information. It wasn't Georgia Avenue Day. It was all the way up Georgia Avenue. It was, uh, Ron says Emory Heights Day. And I'm not, I'm not going to talk about people, man. But I take my band very seriously. I take the setup seriously. I take the, the, the artists seriously. Uh, I take promoters seriously. I take whoever in charge of the event seriously. Because when I bring my band out to play at any event, if it's paying or if it's free, I look for a certain status that we're looking for when we get there. And when we came up Emory Heights, man, we waited maybe an hour. You know, we supposed to got started at 12. That's what they told us. We may made, we made, waited maybe an hour before we was even able to get on stage. And then when we got on stage, man, the sound was terrible. Mics was cutting off. I mean, how can a person do a performance when the equipment ain't right? You know what I'm saying? Then we supposed to got 45 minutes we end up probably getting 20. On the upside of that, I'm glad it was only 20. You know what I mean? Because the sound was just like, it was embarrassing, man. And the, the more I'm up there trying to work with them, the more aggravated I got. So, of course, when I got down, man, I, I, was, I was upset, man. You know, I was upset because I'm saying, man, y'all not professional. Because if I give a show, man, and I invite a, van, a band to come, one thing I'm going to be looking for is for them to start on time, and I'm going to be looking for that sound to be like it should be. I'm not saying we don't run into problems sometimes, but I'm going to be on top of my business because 
That's that's very important. That's you know you running an operation, you running a business. And if your business ain't no, if your business messed all up like that, who gonna want to even be a part of what you doing? And you know I'm saying I ran into that before, uh, uh, a couple of years back, man. You know, and I don't want people to think that I'm just trying to be a hard knocks or you know I'm acting like I'm tough and bad and nothing like that because that ain't the, that ain't the thing. The thing is, we are professionals in this business, and if we if we professionals, then we should act accordingly. And when we come to somebody else's platform, they should have it together. So what I'm learning now is that when I go to a show or somebody else's platform and they don't have it together, my band ain't going to play. And I know my members of my band may be a little upset about it because, you know, everybody wants to share their talent. But guess what? If they ain't got what, you know, if it ain't together, man, it, it really draws a stain on you because all them people out there, they really don't even know how we sound for real because they couldn't even hear really what was going on with us. But anyway, I still take my hat off to those guys who threw that uh, Emory Heights day. I still take my hat off to them, man, because it's the effort that was count, man, and, and they're giving the community, man, something to do during that time. Now, that same night, we had a private birthday party we had to do uh, over in Capitol Heights, right off of Central Avenue. And I'm saying I use my sound, collaborated with DJ Rick sound. We put some sound together to do this event. And I tell y'all, man, we was over there joint thumping. Man, we, I'm talking about, we was partying from the very beginning to the end. And I want to show y'all a clip, but I'm going to have to find it when I go on my break. And when we come back, I'm going to share it with y'all. But that's how it's supposed to have been done. I want to give a shout out to uh, TSB Catering and Events, man, because they was there, man, and the food was delish. The food was great, man. They was talking about that thing even when I went back to uh, pick up the rest of the stuff. Uh, the lady, uh, Pat, was still talking about, man, we got to get y'all to do some more stuff because the band was great. The food was, you know, off the chain. And that's and those are the type of results that you look for when you out doing events for anybody, no matter how, how big it is or how small it is. You want to always be effective in what you're doing in your craft. But I really enjoyed myself that, that, that Saturday night, man. I think we made up for that Saturday morning. Yes, indeed. Now, if you got any comments or anything you'd like to say or ask me, please feel free to call 240-719-2560. Now, I'm going to say it slow for you. 240-719-2560. Okay? Give me a call. We can rap about whatever you're trying to talk about. Now, um, Ron, could you throw up what we're doing this Saturday for the uh, the um, back to school book 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 drive? Now, this is what's going on this Saturday, y'all. Y'all check this out. Y'all check this out because this is what's going on. This is where we're gonna be at Saturday. Uh, it's gonna be an all day event uh, sponsored by Vox Wave, um, and and, and y'all got to be there to, 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 to see what's happening. <sighs> when, when you talk trouble, trouble come in, man. Yes, indeed. Yeah. But that's, that's, that's it. Come on, sit up here, man. Come on, man. Sit on up here. So, so yes. Yeah, yeah, let's make it. Let's answer that. Yeah, yeah, let's answer that. Welcome to the Tom Mo Show, man. Who's this here? Hey, Uncle. Hey, what's up with you? I just calling in because I'm, I'm just my first time seeing you live online. <laughs> well, I appreciate you calling, and I hope that we'll be able to see you in some events. But you keep in mind that I'm here every Wednesday night from 9.30 to 10.30. And I'm saying we'll be talking about all sorts of different types of things. I got some guest posts to be coming. I'm not sure if they're going to show up. But my man that I was just talking about, DJ Rick. Just stepped in the building. Just stepped in the building, man. And I appreciate him showing up, but I know why he's here. He ain't no good. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> but, but, for him to oh. pop up on, this wasn't even planned. Hey, cuz, 
<laughs> Look, keep on watching. Just keep watching. And at the oh, end man. of the show, uh, give me a call for, for we can talk about these songs you're talking about, okay? Okay. All right. Love you. Talk to you soon. I love you too. Bye-bye. Yeah, he ain't Rick, man. Everybody know DJ Rick, man. Don't y'all know him? <laughs> Just start calling in if you know him. Just <laughs> flood the oh, phone out. Oh, my God. But, yeah, man, Um, as I was saying, uh, that's where we're going to be at for the book drive, man, this Saturday, starting at 4 o'clock. Uh, let's do it again, band post to start it off. We're going we gonna to kick it off, and uh, it's going to be, you know, a few more bands that's going to come behind us. Also, they're going to have DJ Rick out there, man, on the ones and twos, uh, keeping it live and keeping it going. They got the good hot dogs, hamburgers on the grill that's going to be frying up, man. The kids going to be able to have a lot of fun, man. So, if you know, if y'all ain't doing nothing, come on out and uh, and, and just celebrate with us. Book okay? Bag. For the uh, backpack. Because I keep saying book bag. Is the book bag and backpack two same, different things? No, it's the same thing. It's the same thing? Okay. All right. I just ain't want, you know. Y'all know how I am, man. I, sometimes I act like I'm about 70. I don't, can't remember nothing. I just be talking. So anyway, um, that's what's going to be going on Saturday with uh, Let's Do It Again Band and Show. But now that I got Rick here, man, how you doing today, sir? I'm great, man. Man, look, you always come at the right time, too, Slim. Because, look, I was just talking about how when we went up Emory Heights, how that sound was just, oh, uh, God, mercy, Sheesh. man. And then I told him about how we use my sound and your sound together that night. Now, you tell them how it was, Rick. You, you let them know, man. All I got to say is, man, um, sound is everything, man. Um, it's everything. Uh, it's, it's good and it's bad. Because if you got good musicians and good singers, it's going to show. If you got bad musicians and bad singers, oh, it's going to tell. It's going to show. Um, Saturday night was an awesome night, man. Um, the celebration for the young lady's mother who passed, man, it was awesome, man. Um, I got to get to Let's Do It Again, man, man. They showed up and showed out, man. And, and the CD, CD is crystal clear, man. It's a good mix. It's crystal clear. Um, DJ Rick Entertainment, um, DJ, DJ and, uh, sound there, um, and working with uh, Let's Do It Again Band, man, it's, it's a great collaboration, man. So, um, you know, it, it was awesome, man. The, the, yeah. the I mean, the whole event yeah, the was the whole all event, yeah, awesome, yeah, man. yeah. It was nice, man. So, you know, um, I'm just leaving 21 Amendment running sound down there for the girls. So, um, okay, and okay. then uh, tomorrow night, I'm at uh, Blue Dolphin with with the tribe band running sound. And then, like like you said, we uh Saturday we out we out at uh Vox Wave Cookout mm-hmm. with the uh, book drive, and then that night I'm I, if I can make it out there I'm gonna be doing sound for a pump lenders. Now y'all DJ. hear that man? This this man is like just super super um, busy. It's crazy. But man. the whole thing is though, when it comes down to let's do it again, band, he there. Damn. And and that's and that and I'm saying me and Rick we we curse each other out like all through the week. <laughs> All through the week, man. All and day long, and man. then when we finally get face to face, it's like, what's up, bro? <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, yeah. man. And, and we do what we got to do, man. But that's it's, it's business. You know what I mean? We, me and Rick take this thing serious, man. We take this thing serious. And I'm telling you, he backing me like 100% with this band. You know what I mean? Because it's, 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 it's about finance, but not about finance. Because cause what we pay Rick to do what we're doing, he most definitely deserved more. He most definitely deserved more. But in his heart, trust me, when we get offline, he'll be saying, man, I ain't doing it no more now. You're going to give me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be like, man, all right, I got you, man. It depends on how much they pay me. <laughs> but at the end of the day, he right there. He right there with the sound. He said, man, come on, Mo, let's do this. Because I had to go to Emory Heights, and he set everything up. Well, I put it out there. I ain't going to do that. I put the stuff out there. Yeah, he but he went behind me and, and put everything back like how he felt that it supposed to be. Because I'm not even going to say I set it up wrong. I ain't doing that. Yeah. But he got his own way how he do things, which is fine. And I'm saying when we got back down there that night, man, Sheesh. that sound was so mad. Sheesh. When I heard that CD, man, that he made, man, and then, you know, Rick is, man, he, I told you he ain't no good. 
I gave him a thumb drive. I went and brought a thumb drive to record the stuff myself. I wanted myself. I said, here, Rick, brand new. Here you go, man. Put this thumb drive in there. He said, all right. He took it. He put it in the machine. It work. We doing some stuff. Then I come back past him. He done took mine out, put his in. Come about, man, this ain't working. Man, the thing didn't work. It, it, How do I know it ain't working? I push record. How do I know? I push record. And it just stayed there. I said, yeah, man, I, take this thing, man. Yeah, this this yeah. a bootleg. You know, he gave you know, me a bootleg you know, thumb drive, man. You know, when he put his in it, though. Oh, that thing was, that <laughs> thing could pop right on. Pop right on. It popped right on. I'm telling you, you know, man. And you know, you know when a person tried to give you a boo, because when he gave me the thumb drive, it was like this. Here, man, this joint ain't working. He ain't look at me or nothing. Here, man. Here. Man, I, I was focused I, on the band, I man. At, I looked at the I looked at the mixer. He got his in there. I said, I already know what you're doing, man. You were right there, man. But we had a ball that night, man. I, I, I hold really up, do, hold up. Man. man, you got that the next day, too, didn't you? The next day? Yeah, you got that CD the next day. Oh, yeah, yeah, he brought that. Yeah, he brought me that CD I, I the next morning. I tracked it in everything. But you know why he brought it the next morning, right, Ron? Because <laughs> he didn't get paid that night. Hey, Ron, hey, Ron. <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah, what he told me? He was at my door. He told me, he said, hey, Rick, if I don't get that CD, you don't get paid. <laughs> I said, Tom, well, don't make me kill you. Well, we're going to be killing each other again. <laughs> this, this is what we got to go through. You know what I'm saying? He was at my door the next morning. Hey, here you go, man. <laughs> I said, well, here he you go. Up. He blackmailed me, right? <laughs> Hold up. Did he tell me I'm, I'm leaving this out? Hold up, man. I got to listen to it. <laughs> His mic was a blank. You never know. But yeah, nah, man. That but, was a good look. Man. But we, we, we got more things in the future to come, man, that we're going to be doing with uh, DJ Rick, man. Uh, unfortunately, man, we're not going to have him on the power for this uh, Friday night because he got another gig that he was already uh, booked up for. And when those moments happen, man, I, I mean, I'd be wanting him to be with me, but if he already booked in, then I mean, ain't nothing I can do about it. I got to let him go do what he got to do because he got to make money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to take a quick break and uh, pay some bills, man. And then we're going to come right back at you, man, about what's going on uh, as far as this weekend. One love, man. We'll be back in one second. All right. Hey, what's up, what's up? That's right, it's me again, the one and only, man. My name is Thomas Bartley. Let's go by AKA Tom Mo. Look, come and see me, man, on Fox. Wave.com. We talking every Wednesday from 9:30 to 10:30. You gotta be there. I got a lot to talk about. It's up to you. See you soon. We love. We love. Let's do it again, bang. Come on down here, y'all. Each and every Thursday. I don't know when the next time, but uh, I know this Thursday we down to Coma Station. That's right. Let's do it again, bang. Get here, bang. That's right. Thursday night with Pump Blenders. We got an all white coming up, man. We all need to come out here and do this with us, man. Hey, right. Come on a little bit about Tom O's show, man. Oh, yeah, Tom O's show is great. But if anything else, come and see me play keys. Forget okay. everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> y'all tune in to Box Wave. Box, every, yes. Every Wednesday night from 9.30 to 10.30. Box Wave, let's do it again, baby. show. Man, right. matter of fact, don't forget, come and see Dave, too. Yeah, come see me. <laughs>
the game of the youth project, man. My show is from 6.30 to 7.30 on every Saturday, man. Check me out on VoxWave.com. You know how I say, Mr. Yes, sir. Hi, Tristan Diane. I'm Diane. We're here with Let's Do It Again Band. It's DJ Rick White. Hi. And uh, we just up here, we're ready to party for the UV2. Let's do it again. On VoxWave. It's on Wednesday nights at 9.30. So just keep up with us, watch the videos, enjoy, and you're going to be seeing us a lot more. to the Tom Mo Show with your one and only host, Tom Mo. I got my special guest here tonight, man, that's going to be, man, a part of what we're going to be doing this uh, Friday night down at the Power, man. Yes, His sir. name is Thomas, but he go by the name of Stack Dad. Paper. Paper? Paper. Stacks Stack Dad. Paper. Stacks Paper. Okay, Stacks, Stacks Papers, paper. man. So Stacks how you paper. doing, my brother? How you feel, I'm man? I'm great, man. Good, I'm good, 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 good. So look, let me go down the list real fast before we... Because I'm trying to get Stacks paper right. to do a little something for us, y'all. So we want to go down a list real fast. And uh, first, I want to ask you, where you from? I'm from. I'm from New York, New York, New York originally. I'm from Harlem. Okay, okay, okay. 142nd and 8th Avenue. Okay, put it down. You know, uh, half of my life I grew up in New York. Mm -hmm. Half of my life I grew up down south. Okay. You know, like we okay. all have yeah, people yeah. down south. You know, so um, when, once I got to that point, the age of 20, you know, I moved in the middle. Okay. You know, I didn't want to be up top no more. Right. I didn't want, I damn sure didn't want to be down <laughs> south. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, I'm not no country nigga. Right, right, so I'm right. Like, Man, I got to leave. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So I left and I'm here now. Yeah. And, you know, I just want to bring the DMV to real. You right. know, we here. And this time we connect like joints. Right. You know that's what right. I mean? That's right. That's right. Because we one of the only cities that connect like joints. Mm -hmm. You know, You're right. Baltimore, Virginia, yeah. Yeah. Maryland, yeah. DC. That's why they turned that thing to the DMV. Yes, sir. You know yes, what I mean? Because one time yes, it was sir. just DC, Virginia, and Maryland. They yes, done sir. changed the whole joint to just call it the DMV. Yes, sir. Which represents all three. So look, so how old was you when you start doing the rap music I, you know. when I when I started spitting I was 16 okay. it, it, it started out you know I, I had a love for music ever since I was a small okay. child okay and you know it stirred from there and then when I became into my adolescence you know my mom bought me the drum set mm -hmm. and she bought me the microphone you know back in the 80s we still had the toys where you had the microphone with the little speakers, right. the guitar. Yeah. Yeah, I so I kicked the microphone down like James <laughs> Brown, Mike Jackson, moonwalk away, right. spin back to it like the Temptations. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I did those type of things. Those things grew with me. Right. Then I was in the marching band. It went from that to beatboxing in the streets for okay. my niggas that spit. Right. And you know, I had hooks. Okay. Because I always wrote. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I didn't know I was a geek until I was out of school. Okay. It was it was sick. You know, um, nigga didn't even know he knew how to write an essay. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But that's how I learned how to write 16 bars. Just that's knowing right. how to write an essay. That's right. So it went from the ciphers 
to my man telling me like, yo, you could do this yourself, mm -hmm. rap. So it started from there and I was 16 years of age at that time. And it, it went from me not knowing what to say mm -hmm. to now you could just play a beat and I let the beat talk to me oh, and man. then I'll tell you something. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. but well, we most definitely gonna put you on put you on the test on that okay, tonight, okay, baby, before okay. you get up out here. Okay. Now, now I wanna ask you this right here now. Uh can you go back to remember what was the first rap that you done that like you did the whole thing? Can, yeah, I I can. What was I the name can. of it? It didn't matter of fact. At that time, I didn't know how to write 16 bars, so right. I'll write a full page, and I'll be on the back of the page when I was finished. Oh, yeah, okay. So it was just like a whole 36 bars. Right, right. You know, and it was like Sex Paper, The Grim Reaper, The Overseer, The Lady Pleaser, My Flow Pretty Like Aaliyah, I Stick the Cheese Like Pizza with More Rubber Grips and Sneakers. See, see ho, ho, man, see? You try to turn up already. You know, I'm, I'm just saying. That's just that's, who you in. You know, and that's 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 what happened. That, that's stack what that spewed paper. out of my mouth. Yeah, you know, stack, stack paper. that paper, man. Y'all here. Grim Reaper, we here. So do you, do you, but did you name it, though? Now, you, you got front and back page, but and, you never um, named it? Okay, at the time when that when that happened, me and my man, uh, his name is Killer Classic, mm -hmm. you know, but... um. We was talking, and I said, well, what is our name? We was going through that, like, what we going to call ourselves and all that. And at that time, this was in the 90s, like, you know, uh, 99, something like that. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and he was like, um, we was we called ourselves Worldwide Soldiers at first because we was all on Master P. Oh, okay. And then... Uh, it spewed into bad influences. Oh, okay. So if you look at uh, at badinfluences.com, um, you know, IG, you know, that's that's my joint. Okay. You know, same thing on Facebook, Stacks Paper, Bad Influences. You'll see the same thing. Do you got anything on YouTube? Um, I have things on YouTube, but to be honest, I have them locked okay. because... Okay. There, there's unfinished things right. on, okay. on this. Cool, so cool, cool. I, I just asked because we usually can pull up some footage if it's on YouTube. We just yeah. want to pull it up and play it for you. But um, what we're going to do now, man, is like let's talk about power. This is the upcoming Ooh. event where where he, uh, uh, my man, stacks that paper, going to yeah. be performing live, live. Y'all got to see this. I'm trying to let y'all see this because I want y'all to come out. come out. It's going to be yeah, epic. It's going to be telling you. off the chain. And I want you to understand that y'all got to come early because the promotion piece that's going out right now, the feedback that I'm getting is that, man, this joint going to be this. People might not even be able to get in. One of the hottest ever in the city yeah, you've seen, may, I yeah, promise. Yeah, I you promise you. You might not even be able to get in because. I promise you. All white, you know, red carpet affair. Yeah, make man. sure you wear all white. That's right. Because if, sure if not, you're you gonna you gonna be you gonna be. Thank you so they, much. They they not gonna they not gonna let you in. Don't be coming down there talking about Tomo told me because I don't have nothing to do with the door. I don't have nothing to do with the door. I got something to do with the event. I don't have nothing to do with the door. I can't get you in free and all that, man. Come on, man. That. I'll um. Like, I already know the tickets ain't number 10 now, but they probably be charging you 20 at the door. Exactly. So if you got tickets, it's best that you get in there early. You get and down you there. you will see Stacks Paper yeah. up and down Benning Road, up and down Blainsburg, up and down 8th Street. I'm going to be all over. Now we I live got, in Northwest. Come see me. I got your tickets. Come you, get them. That's right. They can call Don't you come Stacks. Short. They, give them the number. They can call you right now. 202-517-5895. Two four zero seven seven one nine two five six zero. Now that, and that's if you want some tickets, call in now. Stack said, "Man, here, meet up with you, get yeah, you some yeah. tickets for y'all get in there." Now these passes right here that I'm showing you right now. This right here is the passes for guests only. Only these are guest passes only. 
Yeah, Sam. Access guest passes only. If if you got these, then you have no problem getting in get on Friday night. You can get right in. Yes, but other sir. than that, you need a ticket or you have to pay at the door. And I'm trying to tell y'all, man. I'm saying, man, look. I'm so filled up right now about having my man sitting here right here beside me, knowing that I'm saying I ain't even asking him to spit nothing. He, he just got to roll. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he got to roll it yeah. off the break, letting you know, we man, that he ready. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna take a quick break right now, and when we come back, Stats gonna be on stage, man. Just spit a little something for y'all to let y'all know where we're going. So we're gonna yeah, pay some yeah. bills, man, and we'll be right back with the one and only. Com. Tune in to the world's number one streaming media service and check out our entire lineup at Voxwave.com. On Monday, 6 to 7 p.m., it's the Mignon Show with your hosts, Mignon and co-host Rise. And then from 7.30 to 8 p.m., my spa, bath, and body. And then after that, every Monday from 10 p.m. to 11 p.m., we got The Platform, hosted by Bam640, Storm of Belladonna, and DJ Andre Michaels. And on Tuesdays, 8 to 10 p.m., can't forget my man Slick Daddy Rick, Heartbeat Congo Hour. Up next on Wednesdays, it's Faith Practical. Helping you maintain your faith through the fires of life. Hosted by Darian Claxton. Every first Wednesday of the month from 9 to 10 a.m. Then from 10 to 11.30 a.m. A-Mo TV Show. Powered by Yay Me Incorporated. And every fourth Wednesday, 12 to 1 p.m. It's Impact the World Radio TV Show. With your girl, Sharon. Get Slick Talk with your host, Oscar D. And co-host, it's the King. Wednesdays, 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. And coming up, Wednesdays, 8 to 9 p.m. It's the BGK8 Show with Dominion and Epic. Up next, it's the Tom Mo Show. Wednesdays, 9.30 to 10.30 p.m. And can't forget Thursdays with you, Math, and me. Hosted by George Rand. Catch him at 10 to 10.30 a.m. Up next at 1.30 to 2.30 p.m. QETV Live Show with your host, Miss H. And then, every Thursday from 7 to 8 p.m., it's the 6.40 Evening Show. And after that, Thursdays, 8.30 to 9.30 p.m., it's In The Mix with The Mitchells, hosted by Tony and Sunita Mitchell. Boxway.com. And then, on Friday, it's the Daryl Allen Hairston II Crime Victim Foundation Show, each Friday from 3 to 4.30 p.m. And after that, from 9 to 10 p.m., The What If Effect, hosted by James Lockett and co-hosts Terrence Allen and Wayne Taylor. All right, all right, man. If y'all just joining me, man, thank you for joining the Tom Mo Show, man. I'm your host, Tom Mo. And we got my main man, Stax, man, straight out of New York. Well, yeah, he down here with us now, man. He going to be at the event on Friday night at the one and only Power Nightclub. So what he going to do is do a little spit for us, man, so we can hear what, what you got coming. Now, y'all already know I got the uh, the UIA song. I'm going to play the, 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 the music version. And see if Stats can uh, put some some rap on top of that, man. Here he okay, come, okay, you okay. man and man. Let's go. Let's see what we got. Watch the throne and claim the thing they crown me king. Don Coleon, bow down and kiss the ring. Suppressing my arrogance like a nigga in this shit down the cone. Like my beat. Take your time with me. I ain't have to watch the throne and claim a thing, they crown me king. Don Coleon, bow down and kiss the ring. Suppressing my arrogance like a nigga ain't the shit. Dapper Dan, designer, goodbye, the tailor made fist. Dapper Dawn, tell me long on my jaw, got the ish. All my homies dead and gone, rest in peace, you baby miss. missed. Pull out a little liquor, spliff, let's get lit. Put it in the air, suicide, like the doors on the whip. Other things in your chick, just touch down, same lip that you kiss. Just tick. Yeah. You wanna go your own? Look, nah, look. 
yeah. Suicide doors on the coupe, I'm in the roaster. Drop with the top that fold like Transformers. Glocking the holster with some Puerto Rican choker. Skunk and cut mocha, tight wet soaker. Don't mind giving that he uh, why we coasting. Living to be the local. Twilight zone, eyes low and red blood shot, but I'm focused. Haunted nigga dreams like the omen. Locust, show you how to move in a room full of vultures. Fuck the game over like Judas with a cold kiss. Coke, I raw shit. Numbers on the charts like scientific notion. I ain't even flying, flown feels like I'm floating. I remain dry though I swim through the ocean. You cross this and get washed up like so many. Shooting, I don't miss. I hear nigga hold this. Dead fish don't swim. But revenge is like the best trim. Hot balls leave a body warm like sea grim. I smoke that everything that smells like old shit. But I stay up on some new shit. New this, new whip, new that, new this. Be eyes this shit now. I thought y'all do this. Like that, I see I'm running shit. I ain't new to this. They're doing this on the low, homie. I'm super rich. Modifying the mockery, keep it moderate. I'm not the one. I open you up like vagina lips, like toast, toast. With extra clips, I'm high like ever since. Fly like never been living life in the fast lane. All we do is win. I deal with nothing, kill the game, and stack a lot of tips. I'm on rule with the food print. I do this. Fuck rap, this is real life music. Cake. Yeah. Right now. Right this time. All right, all right, all right, man. Y'all heard it yourself, man. Y'all heard it straight from yourself, man. I'm out. Stacks ain't even playing with y'all like that, man. He's not even playing with y'all. I'm going to take a quick wow. break for we can bring him back, man. And then we're yes, going to be on and popping. See you in one minute, man. One minute. We'll be right back. Woo. Hosted by James Lockett and co host Terrence Allen and Wayne Taylor. Up next on Saturday from 8 to 9.30 a.m. Come listen to the Halo Blue Show with your host, Ron Jackson. And after that, Saturday 11 to 12 p.m., it's the Prayer, Praise, and Deliverance with Elder Thurman Gorman Jr. Then, every Saturday, 12.30 to 1.30 p.m., Four Sisters Live Talk. And don't forget, every second Saturday from 3 to 4 p.m., turning dreams into reality talk show with Tashika L. Green. Yes, yes, indeedy, man. Man, that was, man, that was bomb. That was bomb. Thank you, thank you, And see, you, let me, I'm going to tell you, you how you. I know the talent, right? It's because he never heard this song. He never heard this song. It ain't like he had an opportunity to work with the song before he went up there and did what he did. I brought the song, I brought the song to him right off the break. I brought the song to him right off the, right off the break. So it's, it's like... Man, this, you know, this thing really got me real puzzled right now. It's like Stax was just, man, he was just flowing just by being an artist. He was just flowing with it because he already knew that he had what the words he wanted. He had to get it together. But once he got it together, yes, y'all sir. seen it? I ain't yes, got to keep telling y'all about it. Y'all seen yes, it, man. Yes, he, he, he was rolling with that real thing, shit. man, for real. real freestyle. And it's like, and it's like, man, hey, when you can do it like that, hey, what can you say, man? Man, I appreciate you, know? you man. Thank and you I so already much. Know. I appreciate you, you, know you I mean? for having me here. Yeah, man, you got your own. You got your own music that you gonna be doing that night. That all we already know is yes. gonna be bomb. You gonna be dropping it, man. I'm just, I'm just looking, man. I'm just looking forward to Friday, man, because we working hard on this thing, man. You know, we working hard on it. And if, and if the work that we putting in, gonna pay off. That's how I yes, look sir. at it. Yes, sir. That's how I look at it. And anything you do, if you work hard at it, it's going to pay, pay off, off, man. You know it's what I mean? Pay off. You got some shout-outs, man? You want to do some folks it's, that's out there that may be looking or may go back and watch it later? I just want to shout-out the Geek Squad, Deagle, Tomo, all my DJs, you know, that, that support in moving forward and progress and success and what we're doing. Okay, and okay. And I thank you, you know, all of you. Anybody that missing and all of that, we love you. you That's know, right. And, That's right. And keep hope alive. We gonna get it, baby. Well, I need y'all. I need everyone, man, that like who's watching tonight or who may look at this video down the line. Try to keep up with everybody. I need you to go to We the Link One. You need to plug into that on Instagram. You need to go to 
Let's do it again, band. G four S. You need to go to Let's Do It Again Band underscore G four S D C Power Brokers. I want to make sure I don't miss nobody. Geeking for success. Yes, sir. You, you, you got to get on these pages to keep up with what's going on because we got a whole unit, man, that's going from here to Baltimore, New York, Pennsylvania, South Carolina, North Carolina, man. We got a tour coming up. We putting it together now, man. We got a tour coming up, man, that we're going to be gone. We're going to... But, man, Stax and everybody else that we got on our roster, man, is going to be traveling with us, man. Uh, they get ready to do a mixtape uh, this Friday, for real. It's, it's a lot going on, man. But if so y'all don't follow us on the gram, y'all ain't going to really know, you know pretty much what's going on. Sweet. But when you come on here on the Tom Mo Show on Wednesday nights, I'm going to always update you. I'm going to always update you. Let's do it again, band. It's not planned for the event Friday night. But that ain't no problem. We got Mr. Neverson Show, uh, uh, Sean. We got Pee Wee for the Neverson Show. That's going to be, man, off the chain that night, man. Yes, then we sir. got my man Stax and Stax other our artists, man, that's going to be down there. We doing the red carpet. We doing the all white. We got to do the white. all white. So that all white. Red all we carpet trying to do is then you get fly. You getting fly. Get fly, baby. Come on out, have a ball with us, man. We gonna have yes, sir. We gonna have uh, uh, celebrities, man, coming through all night long, dropping in, seeing you what's happening, know. take some pictures, man. You, you know, you never know. You may need a plug down there to your For career. Real. You never For know, real. man. It's up to you though. For real. Because what we doing, man? We doing something major. major. Uh, like my man D Eagle, man, we take our hat off to you, man, because uh, you couldn't make it tonight, man. But I already know, man, if you was here, man, you can tell them about the up stuff we got coming up, man, which is which is bomb. Yes. But if you yes. want to be a part of any of this, man, you got to go yes. on We The Link One, you know, and and, and, and and reach out, man. Touch touch people, man. And make sure you keep up with Bad Influences, Stacks Paper. That's right. That's Stacks right. Stacks Paper. That's right. IG, yeah, there hit you me go. up. Yeah, I will follow you. If you're trying to get on board with what I'm doing, coming on the show to talk about your talent, if you want to come on and perform, you look me up at uh, Let's Do It Again Band at gmail.com. And another thing, you link with one, you link with all. That's right, because we all together. We all in the building yes, together. There's no yes, separation. Sir. Yes, sir. Well, man, only so, thing I can, I can tell you, Stacks, man, is that, man, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't you know? wait, neither. I, I can't, can't wait, man. You know what I mean? And I'm going to be fly as a motherfucker. I already know. You was fly when we came in to meet. I'm going to be fly as a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I already know. You're going to have it all, man. You but know? that's how you're supposed to be. You're yeah. an artist, homie. Huh? Yeah. You're an artist, yeah. man. Just how they doing it in, in, in L.A. and all that, man. We trying to do it like that right here in the DMV. Yeah. Yes, sir. We trying to do the same thing, yes, man. Sir. We trying to let them know, man, that... You ain't got to go to L.A., man, to do that. You can do that right, right here. Right, right. You and just got to be plugged in. And the thing for me that, that's so wonderful is such a great thing to be around brothers that's all positive, nothing negative. Nobody is selling anything funny, mm -hmm. no mm -hmm. narcotics. That's right, that. none that's of, right. None of the things that's that right. we came from right. growing up. Right, We had this uncle or we had mm -hmm. this cousin that did that or that's did right. this. You know, we all brothers that's doing something positive and is actually moving. I mean, we got we over there, Ron. The I mean, you got on there. You, you got any on there tonight? Yeah, we had about four. Hey, they gone there, huh? Hey, so look, I just want to thank you all for uh, uh, joining us tonight, man. I kind of lost y'all on the, on the um, I don't know, what's that? Facebook or YouTube. The, uh, the, 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 the pad went out. I was going to say the camera. <laughs> the camera never went out. The camera been live all night long. But, yeah. So, don't forget, man. This Saturday, Ron, put it up there again about the book drive. We're going to be at this book drive, man. Let's do it again, band. The show yes, going to be playing. Sure you show up. You know, we're doing it for the kids. Uh, they're going to have the hot dogs, the hamburgers, man. They're going to have the the, the, the book book bags with the pencil paper and all that stuff in there because they can really go back to school. 
We, 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 there you go. There you go. Right there. August the 17th, man. Starting at 4 o'clock, man. 4 o'clock. The cookout, man. It's, it's going to be nice, man. If y'all ain't doing nothing, get your kids. Put them all in the van. Put them in the soccer van joint, man. And come on out there and, and do that with us. But don't forget, this Friday, this Friday, man, you got to be at power. This Friday you night, got you got to be at power and you got to have your white on. Come prepared to take pictures, man, with my man Stax, with me, D everybody. Eagle, everybody that's gonna be there, the man. Whole squad. We got uh, uh, Thomas Jr., the artist, gonna be down there, man. You know, we got the uh, We the Link girls gonna probably be down there. I mean, it's just so many, so many of us gonna be down. Pee Wee, he gonna be down there. You know, these people that's in the DMV doing some things, man, and you want to be a part of that, man. So. Don't forget to come on out and party with us. And as I always say, man, once again, man, it's a blessing that you came tonight, man. I appreciate you, Thank man. Thank you for having it's, me. It's supposed to have been a whole room full of us in here. I know. But a whole lot of stuff, that, you know, it's, things happen, That let y'all know that there's a lot of works in yeah, the making. Yeah, there's a lot of things that happen to kind of slow people up. But like I always say, man, encourage another brother to be better than what he is, as well as you encourage another sister to be more of a woman than she is. From always. this time to the next time, peace and love. I'm out of here. We feel like we stabbed. <laughs> Tune in to the world's number one streaming media service and check out our entire lineup at VoxWave.com. On Monday, 6 to 7 p.m., it's the Mignon Show with your hosts, Mignon and co-host Rise. And then from 7.30 to 8 p.m., my spa, bath, and body. And then after that, every Monday from 10 p.m. to 11 p.m., we got The Platform, hosted by Bam 640, Storm of Belladonna, and DJ Andre Michael. And on Tuesdays, 8 to 10 p.m., can't forget my man Slick, Daddy Rick, Heartbeat Congo Hour. Up next on Wednesdays, it's Faith Practice. Oh my goodness, here we go again. Come on. I like to send a special dedication out to all my family and friends. Come on, wow. Let's do it again, bad and show. I say we all gonna huh. go.
time. 